Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to graph a compound inequality involving or on a number line. Let's jump into our example where we have x is less than or equal to 0 or x is greater than 4. So here, x has to be less than or equal to 0 or x has to be greater than 4. So a solution of a compound inequality involving or is anything that makes either inequality true. So basically, this must be true or that must be true. Now let's graph this compound inequality on a number line to give us a nice visual representation. And we're actually going to break this down into two graphs first in order to better understand what we're working with here. Then we will combine everything into one. Let's start with x is less than or equal to zero and just focus on that. Now zero is included, so we need a filled circle at zero and then an arrow going left representing everything less than zero. So zero is a solution and anything less than zero. Next, we have x is greater than four. So we need an open circle at four. Four is not included. And then we need an arrow going right representing everything greater than four. And that's x is greater than four. Anything greater than four is a solution. Now, since this is a compound inequality, we need to combine these. We're going to graph them on the same number line. So we have x is less than or equal to zero. So we need that filled circle at zero with the arrow going left. And then we have x is greater than four. So we need that open circle with the arrow going right. So this is our graph of the compound inequality. This represents x is less than or equal to zero or x is greater than four. So as far as solutions, some numbers that will work for x and make this compound inequality true, let's try a couple of numbers out. For example, will two work for x? Is two a solution? Well, is two less than or equal to zero or greater than four? No, so two is not a solution. How about seven? Is seven less than or equal to zero or greater than four? Yes, seven is greater than four, so seven is a solution. Anything less than or equal to zero will work, or anything greater than four will work. And we can see that represented on the number line. So there you have it. There's how to graph compound inequalities involving or on a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.